Hey everybody, this is RBCP and you're listening to the Snowplow Show for July 29th, 2016. Today's live show is sponsored by Milk Brain. Milk Brain has been a supporter of the show for quite a long time now, either through patreon.com slash phone losers or phonelosers.org slash cactus. Thanks for the support, Milk Brain, and if any of you would like to support the show as well, please do that. It's good for the soul, it's very cleansing. I'm told, anyway, I wouldn't know because I can't support my own show thanks to PayPal not letting you pay money to yourself. Damn communists. Before we get started on the show, I have two questions for the listeners, and these are serious questions. I'm just curious what you guys think. I'm just going to throw something out there. What do you guys think if I were to post old snowplow shows once a week, or no, not once a week, that's too much, like once a month, maybe twice a month, not on the YouTube, just on the podcast feeds, you know, nothing in it would be new. But I think that'd be a good way for new listeners to hear the old stuff and and for old listeners to hear old stuff that they haven't heard in a long time. And this wouldn't be a replacement for the two shows I've been doing every week. It would just be kind of an occasional thing, just kind of a throwback to the past or whatever. I don't know. The show's existed for, I don't know, what, two or three years now, so it seems like we could throw some old shows in there occasionally, unless there's just some crazy overwhelming objection from you guys and also i was thinking there's some old shows that i did which weren't really any a part of anything they weren't the snowplow show they weren't the phone show they were just kind of the in-between shows that i was doing occasionally i don't know how many there are maybe five or six i'm not really sure and i think they're from back in maybe 2013 or so that's back when i was calling shows the four loco and Tostito shows or whatever Should I take those and turn those into phone shows, or should I just leave them alone and let them be their own thing? I don't really know. That's why I'm asking you guys. I'm going to let you guys decide if I should do that or not. But I think a lot of people have just not heard those shows because they're they're not really called anything. They have weird titles, and they're not in the Snowplow show feeds or anything like that. So tell me what you think in the comments on YouTube or on phonelosers.org. And maybe I'll just start throwing in extra shows every once in a while. You know, old shows. Other than that, I really don't have any new announcements or anything today, so let's just get into the live show. This happened earlier today. It was a prequel to the XYZ show. And here it is. Today I have one hour only. And I think I have plenty of numbers to fill up that hour. Uh, Today I called up some... 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 uh, uh, um, Pet grooming places... And I said, hey, pet grooming place, can you give me your customer phone numbers? And they're like, okay. So I have phone numbers from several different pet grooming places. And I'm going to call them today, just like Gloria told me to yesterday on the phone. I mean, on on the voicemail on yesterday's show. She said I should call up pet um, the, the pet grooming customers. And, um, you know, you know, uh, do the thing. Tell them that I accidentally killed their dog. Uh, I hope the, the outside noise isn't too crazy. Uh, there's heavy machi- machinery out there. It started like 10 minutes ago. I don't know what it's about. They're either chopping down more trees or one of you listeners have tricked a demolition company into tearing down my house live on the air. That's a good one. You got me good. Let's try and call Darla. Darla has a dog named Slider. Oh, I need to start writing ideas down. This is Darla. Can I help you? Hey, Darla. This is Roy from the pet grooming place. Oh, yes. And how are you doing? Good. Yeah, you, you happy with the grooming and all that stuff? Yes, very happy. I just wanted to say that your dog made me feel very inadequate. Why? Just as far as penis size is concerned, I felt very inadequate. And I don't know. I'm sorry. I, what does that mean? I just mean like your dog just has a huge penis compared to mine, and it makes me feel very inadequate. And I don't know. Can you just not bring him back on the days that I'm working? You're kidding, right? Unfortunately, uh, not. It's it's very embarrassing. But who made, is this? It made me feel very inadequate. Okay. 
what can I help you with, and who is this? I just, well, this is Roy from the pet grooming department, and I don't know, I've just, I, I've been feeling so inadequate ever since, oh, okay, she's gone. That was an idea from the chat room. I, I forget whose idea that was, but thanks. Okay, who is this? Listen, I don't appreciate you uh, being so insensitive to my inadequacies. And it's not my fault. I was just born with a small penis. It's not my fault. There's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so and this is a joke. No, it's let's, not. Let's just roll into it. What do you need? No, it's not a joke. I don't need anything. I just wanted to say, can you just not have your dog come on the days that I'm here? Because, holy crap, his penis is huge. What do you want? I just told you. You deaf or something, lady? <laughs> hey, can you tell that girl in the background to shut the fuck up? Because we're trying to have a conversation here. How did you get my number? Because uh, I and work here. Well, what pet grooming place then, mister? Uh, the one that you were at today, Mrs. <laughs> well, Durr. I don't know who that is. Durr, All right, well, I have to go. Just, you know, keep your dog out of here. Thanks. Dirt. What? I said hello. I don't. I don't know what that was at the end. I'm trying out this uh, jitterbug music today. I'm pretty sure it's going to set off copyright alarms, but it's worth a try. Maybe it won't. Okay, Jasper Flax says I took their dog's fur and knitted a sweater from it, but now you have fleas. But now I have fleas. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Oh, nice. Good, good Pokemon idea, Mr. 15 Fake Account. Hello? Hello, Phil? Yes. Hey there. Um, This is Roy from the dog grooming department. You, you brought your yes. dog dog in? Yep. And and there's a kind of a problem? Okay. Um, were, were you happy with everything? Did everything turn out okay? Um, I haven't brought them in yet. Yeah, okay. but I'm... I'm, I'm oh. But that's not what I'm saying. I was just wondering, um, like, we're going to be cutting your dog's fur off, right? Yeah. Do you mind if I keep it? Because I'm making a uh, a sweater made out of dog hair. Oh, no, that's what you're asking is if you can keep the hair. Yeah, I want to keep your dog's hair. And, and I'm making yeah, a, that's not a problem. I'm making a sweater out of it. Yeah, no problem at all. Okay, but if I get fleas... I'm What's not, that? If I get fleas, I'm not going to be happy. If I get fleas in my sweater... <laughs> It's gonna piss no, me off. That that should be fine. Okay. And the last time, which one are you bringing in today? Is Ellie or Ty- Tyrone? Uh, they're both in Ellie and Tyrone. Yeah. Okay. They're currently in, right? Yep. Um. The last time they were in, they they got loose and kind of ran around and and stole dog treats off the shelves and just caused a general ruckus. Like, are, they're not gonna be out of control again, are they? Um, who is this, really? Uh, this is Roy from the dog grooming department. Okay. Yeah, hang on one second. I just wanted to make sure, because, you know, last time it was... So are you serious about getting the loose? Getting the what? You said, are they going to get a loose again and, well, and I just, pull I'm just, dog treats off? I'm, the... I'm just saying, maybe you can be a better dog owner and teach them how to behave themselves, and teach them not to exhibit racist behavior. And to run around in the store like, like you know, fucking children. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just, you know, just just have a talk with them before they come in, all right? Who is this? Uh, this is Roy from the pet grooming department. Okay. Okay. How many more times are, do you plan to ask me that? I have a limit of five. Five answers. All right, he hung up. I was very unclear on that one. He said his dogs were coming in later, but then he said his dogs were already in there. So these are numbers from today. Like, I think they start out with the most recent ones and then they the farther back they go. So maybe that one was just one for an appointment. I don't know. That was Jasper Flax's idea, the sweater thing, and 
Oh, what else? I don't know. There's a bunch of crazy ideas from the chat room. Hello? Hi, Alicia? Yeah? Hi, this is Roy from the pet grooming department. Hi. And, um, you had your dog in here? Are, are you, um, you, you picked it up, right? Uh, no, it probably would have been my boyfriend. Okay, um, could you have him come back? We gave him the wrong dog. What? We gave him the wrong dog. There were two dogs that looked pretty much the same, but then the other owner came in and, and, and she's like, she's like, you know, th- this is not my dog and showed me a birthmark and pictures and everything to prove it. So it looks like we mi- mixed up your dogs, your, your dog, oh, Jax. Yeah, we gave, we gave Jax to someone else, but we have. Okay. And what time did, what time was he picked up or what time did. <laughs> the other dog get picked up oh, and go gee, home. I don't even know. I'm looking at the records here, and everything's all confused because they checked out the wrong dog. And I mean, the other dog's a poodle. I don't even know how they they confused that. Well, I'm pretty sure mine wouldn't. Have, would you? Okay, okay. Who are, who is this? Even like which? Where are you? You're, calling you're pretty from? sure yours would have what? Where are you calling from? The pet store. Which pet store? The one you brought your dog to. Durr. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that it's just one store, right, that you brought your dog to today? Okay, I'm going to hang up now. If you're actually for real, then you can call me back. But Okay, I'll call you right back then. That seems pointless, but yeah, I'll call you right back. Okay, she hung up. She asked me to call her right back if I'm for real. Hi, this is Alicia. Leave me a message. <sighs> Come on, Alicia. Hello. Hi. Is is this uh I'm calling for Judy. Judy is at work right now, sir. Oh, well when's she gonna be back? <laughs> Once you get done with work about five thirty, can I take a message Okay. Or? Well you don't need to be a smart ass, I was just asking for Judy. I'm she, not a smart ass, hey. You're kinda of being a smart ass. Do you have her work number? Well you're a smart ass too. No, I won't give you her work number. Why not? I, I command you to give me <laughs> All right, let's try again. What's your problem? Hey, how come Judy works while you stay home? Are you? Are you? Does she wear the pants in the family? Hey, let me tell you something, sir. In the first place, it's none of your business. In the second place, I have seventeen percent of my heart after my heart attack, and I still put in thirty hours a week at seventy years old. So don't give me that shit. Okay. Who are you? Give well, me your name. Well, well give listen. Me your name. You're from I, Petco. I know. We used to do a lot of business there, but. Just like you are. I mean, so we quit and went to PetSmart, but well, what is your name, sir? Okay, well, I already told you my name is Roy. I'm just trying to ask a question Roy, about, Roy about who, your dog. Roy, who? I'm going to get a hold of the district manager of your company, and um, I got a complaint about you, so Roy, Roy who? Um, yeah. H-U. Uh, yeah. Roy what? It, no, not what. Who? Roy who, then, smartass? No, that's what I'm saying. My last name is who, H-U. I'm Asian. H. Yep, and then you. Okie dokie, that's fine. And, and I don't, I don't think you should be racist against Asians like this. I was just trying to ask a question about the dog. I, hey, sir, when you uh, answered the phone, or when you uh, called and I answered the phone, how would I know who you are? Well, I don't what know. What color just, you are? What just, race you are? It to me. God made everybody, the whites, the blacks, the Asians, everybody. I'm not prejudiced against anybody, but when you call me a smartass right off the bat, sir, well, then you're a regular prick. I am not. I I am very offended by that, sir. And I think he hung up. Hello? All right. I just fucked with the heart attack guy that has 17% of his heart left. Way to go, me. Good job. <laughs> Yay for the snowplow show, everyone. <laughs> By the way, thanks, Trunk Films, for uh, the uh, I accidentally gave you the wrong dog idea. That was him. It was all his fault. Hey, can I tell someone? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, hit, hit, man, blah, 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 says, tell them you discovered their dog was the opposite sex. And I think I should tell someone that their dog, even though it has a 
boy's name it identifies as a female and they need to respect that right right <laughs> raise a little bit of awareness for uh, gender equality hello hi Nancy yeah hey Nancy this is Roy from the the pet grooming department yeah and I'm just calling about your dog about Duke yeah and there's kind of a small problem. Are you sitting down? What? Are you sitting down? I need to tell you about this problem. No. Oh, you should sit down, ma'am. This is bad. This is so bad. <laughs> it is not. It is not. No, it really is. I'm calling from the pet grooming <laughs> department. We had Duke in here today, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I well, when I I was grooming him, he um, he he took a dump on my Kenny Loggins CD. Oh my. God. <laughs> he did. I'm not kidding around. It's it oh, sucks. Okay. <laughs> it was like my favorite CD. It was his greatest hits. Tristan sent it to me from yeah. Australia, and now it's ruined because your dog shit all over it. I mean, he pooped all over. It. I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Kenny Loggins. Yeah, Kenny Loggins. You know the Danger Zone guy. Yeah, I love Kenny. Yeah. Yeah, he's the best. Oh, he is. Yep. And you got this in Australia, so what do you want me to do? I don't know. Maybe just, I mean, it, I know you can just buy one from the bargain bin at Kmart, but um, this one was special. I don't go to Kmart. Okay, Walmart, whatever. So what do you want me to do and I'll go to Australia? No, no, uh, it just has sentimental value, so you can't <laughs> replace that. But your dog, I mean, oh, okay. this, the CD is ruined. It won't even play in my player anymore. I think I got... Um, got dog poop inside the CD player because I didn't clean it off first before I tried it. Okay. You basically... Well, I'm sorry ba- about it. Basically, your dog dropped a log on my logins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to do something. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'd do the rim shot thing. <laughs> God. Do you think oh, you, you've got to be kidding. Do you think do you think you could go well, I'm to sorry Wal- about that. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. It's not it's it's well, it's sort of your fault cuz you didn't teach your dog manners. But um my dog pooped before he came over there. So you might you might have scared the shit out of him. How do you like that? <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> I do. I didn't even start the Kenny Loggins <laughs> CD and you know, I, I can see like dogs I've scared the shit out of them before when Danger Zone starts cuz I always do it full blast. So I don't have to listen to the dogs whining while I'm doing my stuff. Oh, do you think you what, can just? What were you grooming my? What? 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 Can you just buy you buy, buy me a, buy, buy me a new Kenny Loggins CD or a cassette? Even a cassette's fine. My boombox has a cassette player too. Out of your tree? <laughs> I'm not buying you anything. <laughs> but it's your dog's fault. I, I, I don't want. Jo- no, it's not. It's your job to clean up the shit after he does it. I know, but it ruined my CD. Don't I know me and then tell me to turn around and go buy a CD? Well, you're being kind of a jerk, ma'am. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I learned from the best. Okay, whatever. I just don't yeah. see why you're being like this about it. I, I was just calling. I was hoping you'd do the right I, thing and buy me a new CD or cassette. I did. No, you didn't. Well, I'd, I'm doing the right thing telling you that why should I buy you Kenny Loggins uh, okay yeah CD? yeah make sure uh, you, when you die you, you tell uh, tell Jesus what a jerk you were and, and see see if they let you uh, into, he- into Jesus heaven Jesus knows I'm not a jerk oh no no he doesn't because you're, you're being you're a jerk, jerk right now you're the you're, wait, a, you're a jerk calling wait, you tell, tell wait, me wait, to buy you Kenny Loggins when you get up my to dog the shit on your it's your job to clean the shit, okay? When you get up to the pearly gates, they're going to be like, job. they're going to be like, why didn't you just buy that guy a cassette? They're $5. Yeah, why don't you buy yourself one? And, and then they're going to hit the button and they're, you're going to fall down to hell forever. Just just for over five bucks. So if that's worth five, $5 to you, whatever. Oh my God. Are you bored over at work or what? Not really. I, I just, well, I'm a little oh. bored because I don't have anything to listen to for some reason. Because cause my dog shit on your CD. Yeah, yeah, basically broke. What, my- your, what was your What was your CD doing with my dog anyway? I just had it sitting on the table where I was grooming him, and he just well, poop, that's, pooped all over it. What is that, Duke's yours? Um, that's your fault. 
Well, no, it's kind of Duke's fault because Duke knew the CD was there. No, it isn't. He saw it. He saw it. That's where Duke Duke belongs is on the table, not your CD. Okay, well, I just set it there for a second, and then Duke saw it, and he purposely Too bad. he pooped all over it. Oh, Duke saw it. No, okay. yeah, that's right. <laughs> what you got eyes in his ass? Um, <laughs> ma'am, I don't know if you're aware of this, but Duke identifies as a female, and um, you need to respect his gender equality and refer to Duke. <laughs> Oh my God, you're hilarious! <laughs> you need to refer. Well, refer thanks to, for making my day. Oh, you're welcome. No problem at all. You just need to refer to Duke as a she from now on. And if you no, don't, I am not doing that. If you don't, if I don't, what now? Then, then <laughs> you're you're just a jerk again. That's another point against you from from <laughs> the records. You're, you're the records up in that left the CD up in heaven by my dog butt. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know. I blame. Well, oh, I think well, it's your. Not me. I think it's your fault. Your fault, not my dog. He's at a he's at a grooming place where she, he should be. She on a table where she, he should have been. She should have been. <laughs> Duke is not a she. A Duke is a she, and you just don't realize it because you don't respect gender. Oh, people's gender oh choices. My God. <laughs> you're, ba- you're basically oh you're as my. you're as bad as a racist. <laughs> I'm, I am a racist, huh? Okay. Pretty much. Um, oh. Can we just call, can we call okay. can we call Duke Duchess now instead? I'm gonna, that would be kind of cute, though. Okay, I'm going to put it in the computer. <laughs> Hold on. Changing it to Duchess. There we go. <laughs> and then when I go in, and when I call them in, an appointment out. and stuff, that'll be Duchess, and then they won't be able to get him in. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't confuse them and they don't give you the wrong dog. Oh, he would never give me the wrong dog. My little dog's so old. Yeah, that's true. He's an old dog. Yeah. But he's a cute dog. I guess so. Look, I'm really tired of talking to you, and if you're not going to buy me a Kenny Loggins CD, then I'm just hanging up. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Big jerk. (laughs) Then have a good day. Fine. Thanks for calling. I won't have a good day, because you know what? I can't even listen to music today now, (laughs) thanks to your stupid dog. (laughs) Your stupid cross-gender dog. Oh, I love it. Well, thanks. What's your name again? Uh, my name is Roy. What? Roy, I work in the... Roy. Gr- yeah. Roy? Yes, Roy. <laughs> you lying. No, why Why do you think that's a lie? Just just because... Like you just don't sound... You don't sound like a Roy. Just because uh, you're, you're dishonest... Like a Fred. Just because you're dishonest, <laughs> I'm not dishonest. I'm more of a what? <laughs> oh. More of a Fred. Oh, I thought you said Brad. That would have been weird. Oh, yeah, that Brad too. That's a good name for you. <laughs> okay, too. well, have a nice day, Nancy. I'm Freddy gonna go, I'm gonna go and not. Li- Fred. I- I'm gonna go and not listen to music now, <laughs> thanks to F- Duke. Oh, okay. From now on, make sure you don't put your CDs on the on the table with dogs, so they don't shit on it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Especially you dogs. Have a good day, then. Especially dogs that are assholes. And- <laughs> <laughs> he has one of those, doesn't he? Yeah, right put, I, I have proof of that now. <laughs> oh, thanks for making my day, though. Oh, yeah, you too. You're the best. I love you. Okay. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye. Holy shit. Uh, I'm all sweaty from laughing. That was the coolest lady I've ever talked to. I think that is the coolest lady since the Polly Shore cruise ship lady. Remember her? <laughs> Got, gotta love someone that laughs at all my stupid jokes. <laughs> Mr. Neller says Duke's been demoted to coal slave. Oh, and apparently that was Trunk Films' idea. So thank you, Trunk Films. That was a good one. That lady was awesome. Melkor says your, your dog identifies as a cat. And is offended if you call it a dog? Uh, I gotta copy that one. Uh, Trunk Films stole the idea from the Chinese government. I know, but come on, give them credit. It's alright. Tristan really did send me a Kenny Loggins CD from Australia. Back in the day. I listened to it. Actually... Hello? Oh, hi, Wendy? Yes? Hey, Wendy, this is Roy from the grooming department for the, you know, the dog grooming department. Yes? 
And I just needed to uh, let you know that we accidentally gave you the wrong dog. You need to come back immediately and pick up the right dog. No, you did not. This is my dog. Oh, no, we, we, we put the wrong collar on it and everything. No, Some... this is my dog. He knows exactly who no, I am, no. and this is my dog. Well, the, the, the dog you have is just happens to be really friendly, but... The dog. No, the, that, that, that. this is my dog. He has a little. He has a little bump next to his mouth that I talked to Gail about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, what's the bump from? We don't know, mm-hmm. but it's been there. I showed a tour this morning, and it's still there. Well, you definitely this is ha- my dog. No, you have the, the wrong dog. Your dog. Let has, me talk to Gail. Your, Let me talk to Gail. Your dog has a birthmark, or, or no? This dog huh. has a birthmark. The one that you have has a birthmark. Where? Look, can I just talk to your dog real quick? I'll, I'll clear this up. Bye. No, no, seriously. Seriously, we can, I can take care of this. Ma'am, Wendy, hello? Let me try her, try her right back. Uh, Jane Honda says, we cloned your dog and gave you the wrong copy. I think that's a good thing to say to her if she picks up. Hello? <laughs> Look, I, I wasn't being honest with you before. What actually happened was that we cloned your dog and we gave you the wrong copy. <laughs> And I, I'm just, He's awfully cute, isn't he? He, he, is. he would be worth cloning. Yeah, 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 totally. I mean, I'm taking the. I, I wanted to take the clone home, but I accidentally took the Do original. Do you want him? I can. I can let you borrow him. Uh, well, I no, I can't. I I can't. I'm a sex offender. <laughs> so why did you call? You're funny. No, it's. I, I'm just calling to let you know about the problem. You you actually you actually do have the wrong dog. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. He's staying with me. Fuck. All right. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, look, next time you bring your dog in, can you please um, not bring it in drunk? Because I could smell oh, the, sure. the booze all over his breath, and it was sure. disgusting. Sure, I'm pretty absolutely. sure I got drunk just from smelling it. Who is this calling me? This is Roy from the pet grooming department. Okay. Told- is Gail there? Uh, Gail is, uh, she's busy right now. She ran to the video store to return a movie. Oh, there are no videos. <laughs> no, there is. It's inside the supermarket. Well, I have a. Qu- I just have a question. Okay. Okay. So, did she overcharge me then? If this is the wrong dog? <laughs> well, technically, I guess because I don't know. You didn't even get your dog trimmed up. You got the the clone. I got the clone dog. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, did he win a prize or something? No, but you probably oh. would want to come back and get your real dog. Okay, well, I'm not going to do it because this one's sleeping and he's getting ready to take a long nap. Okay, whatever, fine then. Keep, keep a clone okay, dog. Goodbye. I, I hope okay. it. Li- I hope it lives as long as the original. Clones usually last half as long. You heard about yeah, Dolly, right? Too. Yep. 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 Okay. That was a goat. <laughs> goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> that sounded just like the lady before. <laughs> I thought I called the wrong number at first. Uh, Jim Bob the Impaler, he's the one that uh, said to stop feeding their dog booze. Uh, okay, so the next ones um, are from yesterday. These are these people brought their dogs in yesterday, so that's good. You know, we we will we know they already got their dog back. Hello. Hi, uh, Mary. Yes. Hey, Mary. This is Roy from the dog grooming department. Yeah. You, you had your dog in here yesterday. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to let you know, um, like, I took a bunch of YouTube video of your dog, uh, or Chad did, my coworker, and um, it's getting a lot of hits on YouTube, like uh, over uh, 500,000 so far. Bo- which, which dog? Both Bear and Chopper. We, we got them. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, we got, them, we got them to go into the employee bathroom uh, and drink out of the toilet, both at the same time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it, it, it was so cute. <laughs> What's funny is that... They really don't do that at home. Oh yeah, no. We we uh, whenever you bring your dog in for grooming, we teach them how to drink out of the toilet. We usually take them into the employee the the restrooms, and we we just uh-huh. we get them to drink out of the toilets. We'll give them like a little ladder and everything if they're too small. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. So so Chad videotaped this one on his phone. He live streamed it on Facebook, and uh, it's gotten like five hundred thousand hits now because it's so cute. So damn cute. Oh, I'll have to go look at YouTube and see if I can find it. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> search for uh, Bear and Chopper drinking out of a toilet. Okay. Uh, I think we wrote in the title, Mary Dawson's Dog, and we put your home no. address and phone number on there. 
All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay. Also, I, I just wanted to bring something up. Uh, do you think you could not bring your dogs in when they're drunk anymore? Is it? Are you serious? Yeah, because on Chopper's breath, we could really smell the alcohol. And he was acting all belligerent and stuff. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean... If this is a dog that was in there at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yesterday, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was him. Chopper was just... He was smashed. And it was 8 in the morning, too. Good point. He shouldn't even be drinking that early in the morning. I don't think that Chopper drinks anything other no. than water. And he hasn't been eating really well lately. Oh, probably because he drinks so much alcohol. He just I he, don't know where he would get alcohol. He probably went to the store or something. I don't know. You know what? I think you're an idiot and you're pulling my leg. <gasps> what? How could you call me yeah. that? <laughs> because you are just not making any sense. Your well, reality does not agree with my reality. I do not think it makes sense for you to let your dog be just smashed in, at 8 in the morning. You know what? I will talk so, to Gail about this. So you what know did what? you say your name You was? know what? You're the Chad? idiot. You know, Chad's my coworker. <laughs> oh. And, and you're the one that's the idiot. My name is Roy. I don't have a dog that has a drinking problem. Well, okay. If that if that's what you think, I mean, maybe you just don't you don't realize there's a problem. Maybe you're the problem. If you don't think there's a problem. You know, first of all, for a dog to get alcohol, they would have to be given it by someone in this family. Yeah. No one in this family is going to give the dog alcohol. Okay, it sounds like you might be drunk right now. You're being kind of belligerent. I am not. I, the only most I've had today is iced tea. With, so, with how much, and it's not hard iced tea. How much vodka was inside of it? <sighs> wow, I think uh, that was a trigger. I think I, I triggered her. That was a trigger word. Uh, Michael E. says the dog's been registered for the U.S. Army draft and will be going to Syria next summer. <laughs> That's a great one. Let's do that. <laughs> We've got a, like a lot of uh, good-humored old ladies today. I wonder if I can get them to let me talk to their dogs. That's what I really want to do. Hi, um, hi, hi there. This is Roy from the dog grooming department. Is this Sue? Hello? Uh, hello? I can't hear you. Oh, okay. I'm from the dog grooming department. You brought your dog in, Gracie? Uh, nope, that's not me. Oh, that's weird. It has your phone number on it. Uh, yeah. Nope, it's not me. Are you trying to commit some sort of I, fraud I here? Huh? Are you trying to commit some sort of a some sort of fraud? Uh, no. Is this identity theft? No. Oh, well, I'm calling from. You didn't bring your dog to. No, I didn't. I groomed my own dog, and the dog I did bring in to get oh. her nails cut. Groom only her. I put her down three weeks ago. I see. Okay. Um. Well, you should bring your dog to, because you know we do better a better job than you. Whatever. Go fuck yourself. We're professionals, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Rest in peace, that lady's dog. But, I mean, that was the wrong number, so... What a depressing show today. <laughs> First a heart attack person, now a dead dog. Hello? Hi. Uh, this is Roy from the pet grooming department. Is this Paula? No, you have the wrong number. No, I don't. Don't say that. Oh, this is Mary, right? I called... I, I'm sorry. Mary? Yeah. Hey, Mary. It's it's Roy from the vet grooming department. I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Um, how old's your dog? She will be four years old on November 3rd of 2012. Can I talk to to her real quick? Just put her on the phone. Who, my dog? Yeah, I just need to ask a quick question. She's at home. I'm in southern Minnesota. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> there's a, a problem. We, we, uh, when, when your dog was in here um, getting, getting groomed and stuff, we registered your dog for the U.S. Army draft. And uh, okay. your, do your dog's been selected. Your dog's going to be going... <laughs> 
going to Syria next summer. I, I mean, at the end of the summer. Yeah, right. No, seriously. Your dog is being drafted to Syria. Okay, whatever. Okay. Just so you know, they're, they're going to be sending the paperwork soon from the U.S. government. Okay. Okay. Um, are you are you doing okay? You you don't you you don't sound too excitable or angry or I'm I'm worried about you. I don't believe in this crap. Crap! You you don't use that kind of language around my phone. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. All right, that was weird. <laughs> that didn't go anywhere. Um, okay, I have four minutes. You know what? Fuck XYZ. I have six minutes. That big jerk. I, I can go two minutes into his show. I don't have four minutes. I have six minutes. You hear me, XYZ? That's right. Six minutes. Oh, wait. No, now I have five minutes. It just went down. I just spent a, a minute ranting about XYZ. Okay, um, five more numbers. One, one number per minute, apparently. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Amy. Yes. Hey, Amy. This is Roy from the the pet grooming department. You had your dog in here. Yes. And um, is he around right now? Is he over there with you? My dog. Yeah. Yeah, my dog is with me. Yeah. Okay. Can I talk to him real quick? Can I talk to Piper? You want to talk to Piper? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please. I don't understand. I just How have can to you talk to my dog. Well, I have to ask him a quick question. What's that? Well, it's between me and Piper. Who is this? This is a very strange call. I'm not going to have you talk to my dog. Uh, my name is Roy. I'm with the pet grooming department. Okay. Well, what, are you, what are you, Piper's secretary? Come on, just put him on the phone real quick. It'll just take a second. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to just call Hi, you've reached Amy. Ah, Leave me a message. Thanks. Call up everyone and ask them to talk to their dogs. It's called Jeff. I don't have Jeff's dog's name. Uh, this might be the last call, though, because it is time for the XYZ show, and that's much more important than this. Chris? Uh, no, hi. Is this Jeff? Yes. Hey, Jeff. This is Roy from the dog grooming place. You had your dog in here earlier? Yeah. And uh, I just needed to let you know that um, when we when you brought him in, we uh, we always register the dogs for the U.S. Army draft, and usually they don't pick them and everything. But um, we actually got a letter from the government, and they they say they're going to draft your dog, and it's going to Syria at the end of the summer. <laughs> into, into <laughs> oh, the, really? in, yeah, into the U.S. Army. Oh, good, good. Yep. So just so you know, your dog is going to be fighting for our country in just a couple of months. Oh, fantastic. Yep, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, well, take care. <laughs> All right. What a, what an amazing last call that was. That was great. I mean, I thought this whole show sucked, but after that call, I've completely redeemed myself. Thank, thank you for that, um, whatever that guy's name was. And uh, thank you, Michael E., for, uh, for the idea, for the draft idea. That, that was a good one, especially that time. Let's see if XYZ is on the air yet. Oh, he's off the air. What the hell, XYZ? Are you not doing a show today? All right, I'm going to leave it on, and as soon as he goes on the air, I'm going to get going, but let's go ahead and try one, one more call. His show is probably going to come on in the middle of this and ruin it. Fuck you for that, XYZ. If you're a talent marketer calling this solicit, please remove us from your list and do not call us again. As for friends and family, please go ahead and leave us a message and reply to it. You at our earliest convenience. What a horrible message. Hey, hey Jacqueline. Are you there? Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello, Jacqueline. It's very important. Pick up, 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 pick up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. 
I'm and swear these Oh shit, oh shit, there's XYZ. Hey listen, Jacqueline, I was just calling to let you know that I am a telemarketer and I'm not taking you off my list. So I'm going to call you later tonight. Late at night. So take that. Just take that. All right? Bye. Okay, so uh, XYZ show just came on. Good news, everyone. And he's playing copyrighted music, which means I cannot rebroadcast his show on here, which means I'm leaving. So uh, everyone should go listen to the XYZ show right now. I'm going to post the link in the chat room. And I think that all 159 of you that are currently listening on YouTube should definitely go over, go over and listen to XYZ, which is Mixler.com slash XYZ QWA. His shows are always fun. Hey everyone, pre-recorded Brad here. The live show is over, and now you're stuck with pre-recorded me. And I just want to say that uh, the XYZ show thing I said, that was just live me talking. Pre-recorded me does not agree. Basically, I feel like, you know, fuck XYZ, don't listen to him. Nobody cares about that show. I only do shows before his show so I can steal all of his listeners. So keep that in mind before you go to XYZshow.xyz. Hey, let's listen to voicemails. Hey, Brad, I know we're supposed to, um, you know, leave the thing on the Facebook page or whatever, but uh, I think it would be really funny if you got the cake to say that you fed somebody's kid their, you know, their dog, you know, by accident. So apologize on the cake that says, uh, you know, sorry, I fed your kid dog meat. Anyway, um, another thing is, is uh, I, I mentioned in the show a few, uh, a few weeks ago that you should say that you smell poop, like, or that you, you saw poop in the toilet, but it didn't smell like yours. Oh, oh my god, huh? that would be funny. And if, if you didn't make that up, then I'm going to take complete ownership of that. And um, I created it, so, you know, whatever. Good, whatever. Anyway, I don't care. I'll talk to you later, Brad. Bye. I'm not going to pay you any licensing fees for jokes. I think that's what he was saying. I'm not sure. Hey, Howard. Hey, now. What's going hey. on? What was up with uh, Gary the other day getting mad at you? And what's up with uh, Ronnie, too? Oh, you know how it is. He's stuff. getting out of control. you got to do yeah, something about yeah, him. I know. All right. Okay. Talk to you later, Howard. Six cents. Serious XM forever. Hey, Brad. It's Time Guy. Hey, Time uh, Guy. I really love the show, and I'm looking forward to Ding Timber. Thanks, Time uh, Guy. Something I was thinking for Ding Timber. Uh, instead of putting sorry i dinged your car you could say sorry i peed on your car yeah and the idea behind that is like if uh if like a pokemon near their car escaped you could uh be protesting pokemon go and instead pokemon went on their car ah all right brilliant bye Hey, motherfucker, you were giving me shit about asking you to update your RSS feeds on the old podcast. Yep, I And this did. is exactly why I'm not a Patreon supporter, is because your last shit show, <laughs> we wait seven days for that shit? Yep. Are you fucking kidding me, Brad? Sucks Step to be you. Up. If you were a Patreon supporter, though, you would have had an extra show last week. Or was it this week? I don't remember. But it wasn't seven days, it was just seven days for you. Hey, Brad, this is Skinny Cool. i from calling you from Michigan. I wanted to personally tell you a few episodes ago where you called people about park permits mm -hmm. and uh, people underage drinking at their events. Mm -hmm. You call that one guy and his friend Hugh Crane starts talking for him and you go, hey, fuck you, Hugh Crane. That was the hardest I've ever laughed listening to your show. I just wanted you to know that. Oh, the guy that I thought his name yeah, was Ukraine. Like I, I kind of remember that. That was a long time ago. Yeah, you could just start completely butchering people's names. <laughs> I'm listening to the Make America Great Again, Dud. And you could have called Alexis, like Alex is, or Steven. Oh, like stupid me. Hair. Take care, bud. I feel like a big stupid head now. Hey, Roy. I just want to say awesome show, man. I listen to oh. you guys all the time. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> That was a nice short voicemail. Hey, it's Bianco. Just want to say Cactus, Texas, Cactus, Brexit. And hey, bitch, show me your shit. Oh, man. Okay. Wow, two 10-second messages in a row. Holy crap, there are three 10-second messages in a row. This one better be good. Hey, Brad. It's Anna from Dallas, Texas. I'm going to have to have a schedule show for all your shows. Thank you. Yeah, yep, I totally agree with what you just said there. Thanks for calling in. Brad. What? This is Baloney Maloney. Hi. Uh, hey, how are you? Great. Uh, you're a big stupid, 
And let me tell you why. Okay. You fucked up big time, Bradley Carter. Shit. Um, so about this time uh, last year, um, maybe a little before, mm -hmm. uh, what you did was you called people during the 4th of July, the day after 4th of July, and you accused them. It was an HOA uh, list, I believe. I see. You accused them of lighting fireworks on their lawn. Um, and people I got pissed. completely forgot about that. Oh, so angry when you uh, called and accused them it. of using fireworks. But it you know what would be nice? It would be nice if I could just play that old show from last July 4th for you guys and put it on the feed. And everyone could just re-experience the amazingness of last July 4th. Wouldn't that be great? It was that infamous call. One of them was that infamous call where that lady told you to take the funny cigarette and stick it up your ass. And <laughs> it was, it, man, what an awesome show. So oh, naturally, I thought I you would up, do I the guess. same thing this year. But uh, no, you just... You, you, you can I'm, I'm so sorry I don't do the same thing on my show year after year after year. You missed the opportunity of, you know... Except for Ding Timber. ...doing something funny again and... I don't know, you did some stupid calls instead. But next yep. year, you should do that again. I'll try. Uh, it was so successful. But I'll, I'll call you next year and remind you. Thanks. Um, but you be, be sure to call three months in advance because you know how I am with the voicemails. Brad, you blew up big time. Yep. Um, I love you, kisses, mwah, mwah, bye. Thanks, Baloney Maloney. I actually got a couple of emails from listeners uh, just a couple days before July 4th, and they reminded me, July 4th is coming up. You better do something on July 4th. And I knew I was supposed to, but I, don't, I forget what was going on July 4th, but I just didn't have time or I was doing something else. Because apparently I had some sort of idea for July 4th. I think the email explained it, but I forget already. And I'd completely forgotten about last year's July 5th show, where I called homeowners. That sounds like it would have been fun. I really need to set up Google Calendar. Like, right now, I need to pull out my phone, write it in Google Calendar so it pops up for me next year, like a day or two before July 4th. That's what I should do, but instead I'm just going to do voicemails and not take a second to do that. Brad, it's not Brad. I've been calling a lot, so I'll keep this short. Oh, okay. Next time you're doing hang-up-the-phone calls, you should also call and ask for people you know aren't going to be there and then just uh, say lots of curse words like fuck and shit and balls yeah. when they say that that person's not there and see how many different people you can ask for um, before they hang up on you I okay. think that would be a fun game alright Brad keep up the keep up the mediocre work uh, Thanks. let's do a show soon Bye. not Brad yeah, I like when the wrong person answers the phone, and I, I ask for the person that I'm calling, and they're not there, and I get to curse a lot. That's always fun. I wonder if I get people in trouble when I do that. Hello, Roy. You? This is Bob Murphy <laughs> calling you. I wanted to say I'd never authorized you using my name. I'm sorry, my Bob Murphy. My voicemail name on your show. So I don't want to hear it again, or I'll sue. I'll call my lawyer. Okay, I'm sorry. Bye. I'll never use that one again. Instead, I'll use this one. Boy, this is Bob Murphy. Bob Murphy. Could have used this Holy one. This is Bob Murphy. You didn't say I couldn't Holy use this one, Bob right? Bob Murphy. Bob Murphy. I'm going to make a sound clip of that one. Put it on my soundboard. Hey, Brad. Hello. Keep up the good work, motherfucker. Okay. Cactus, cactus, motherfucker. I don't appreciate you cursing at me. You know I'm a Christian. Hi, Roy. What you doing? Oh, you know. White 2K computer nerd here, and I have a complaint. Okay. I was watching your July 21st episode, 2016, mm -hmm. and you... I'm up to you. I figured it out. Oh, no. You released the show upside down. Shit. No one else has caught on yet, but I know you released the last show I upside down. I exposed my... Come on to you, Roy. Dastardly plan. Sexy tits, hot babe. Yep. I don't like you. Well, I do. That's why I watch your show. Well, whatever. You get back to whatever you is you were doing. I'm listening to the voicemails, durr. Good morning, Bradley. Uh, I had an idea uh, for how you can make more money. Uh, so people keep calling in. Well, at least I don't know if they've done it lately. Um, on some old shows, people call in um, and have suggested that you accept money in exchange for making a prank call. Nah, fuck I that think shit. obviously that's dumb. I think what you sh might want to try is. Um, taking money in exchange for uh, guaranteeing that you'll try their prank premise. 
right? Mm. So I don't know how much it is to sponsor a show, but say if you do that and another 50%, so 150% of the sponsor the show cost, that would be sponsor the show and make the show a certain theme. So uh, someone could suggest, you know, whatever kind of prank they want to have, and then when they're the sponsor, that's the show that you're going to do. So, you know, if someone wants tunnel calls, then they'll have to come and be a sponsor and do the extra 50%, and then they can say, okay, do a show of tunnel calls. What a great you idea. Know? And um, Let's do it. You, are, you said you've been worried about uh, accepting money for prank calls that might not work out, but if someone submits a, a premise that doesn't work out, that's their own stupid fault. Um, that's true. Because, if it, you know, it's so broad, it's not like... You know, any specific person might not work out. But if the if the premise doesn't work out for anyone, then I get it. Off. I get it. Uh, I know. Yeah, that, that, that's my idea. Bye, okay. Brad. Best idea ever. Let's do it. I'm going to set it up. You guys can pay for prank premises. Hey, Brad. Hey. That's your favorite listener. But calling in, here's an idea. Of course. There's a lot of conventions going around. For PLA Con, we need to find an already existing convention and just hijack it. Yep. We could even like walk we did, around. We did that for DEF CON back in 2011. All of the show hosts just showed up at DEF CON. Dress and, up. And, and were huge dicks to the regular attendees. Take people's phone numbers and then send them in to you. And you can prank call people from the at the convention. What, Wouldn't what that be awesome? Idea. Bye, Brad. Okay. Got this, got this. I'm going to get right on that as soon as I set up the forum for prank call premise charges thing actually you know what i'm getting so so much work that i have to do from listening to these voicemails i I think i just need to quit doing voicemails and end the show so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna end the show still a little bit behind on voicemails i'll catch up eventually i think thanks for listening everyone the snowplow show is hosted by me brad carter sometimes known as rbcp and today's show was professionally produced by jason b and todd l and audio engineering was provided by robert s lee w and rhapsody man 2000 i can say his last name his last name is safe to say special thanks for this episode to neon like bjork and default cecil and buster c They did secret private things for me that I can't really mention, but it is much appreciated, you guys, and you will be paid handsomely, assuming everything goes to plan. Today's episode was sponsored by Milk Brain. It was completely his fault that those old ladies were just laughing at me and enjoying my jokes instead of getting angry at me and screaming and having heart attacks live on the air. Oh yeah, it was also his fault that I pranked a heart patient that only had 17% of his heart left. That, that was a real bummer. That really brought down my high, Milk Brain, so thanks a lot for that. Catering today was provided by Ben K in Australia. It was just like a box of club crackers, so that was pretty lazy, Ben. Maybe step it up a notch next time. As always, electrical usage for this show is monitored courtesy of Brown Magic. And today's background music, the stuff in the pre-recorded parts anyway, is called Unity. It's by a group called The Fat Rat. And apparently they make music that doesn't set off copyright alarms on YouTube. So I'll probably start using them a little bit more. People were asking about them, though, in the last show. If you want to hear them, look them up on YouTube. The Fat Rat. All one word. Oh, and also, there's just one more thing. I have a surprise for all of you. I'm not actually RBCP. My name is Jim, and I work for Royco Distraction Services, and I was hired to distract all of you for exactly one hour. So thank you, everyone, for allowing me to complete my job. You may now go about your day. I don't like you.